Today I fucked up by wearing a valuable item. 10 years ago I got a t-shirt from the 51st annual Grammy Awards from my stepdad and I know it's been 10 years but I'm pretty damn sure the conversation went like Mom, hey, your stepdad got you this shirt from work, radio station Me, big music nerd, sees logo whoa that's awesome, I will thank him. Years go by and it's been sitting on the top shelf of my closet since then, and the shirt finally fits. So I've been wearing and washing it for the past few months, and I'm over at my mom and stepdad's today for dinner and I hear my mom say what's that shirt, wasn't it signed by someone? I laugh it off looking at the front of the shirt like well if it was, it's sure gone now. She checks the tag and lo and behold, I've been wearing a shirt signed by the lead singer of Led Zeppelin for the last 6 months slowly wearing off the signature I had no idea I was wearing. I have all my autographs hanging somewhere, Fred Armisen, Joel Hodgson, Jonah Hill, so if I knew it was signed, the shirt would have been somewhere outside of my closet. The autograph is still there but I just wish I was aware it was there instead of having it wear off in the washing machine. The signature too long didn't read, wore around Robert Plant's autograph on the back of my neck for six months while it slowly began to scrub off. She i.e. it. That must have left your stomach feeling like it was full of lead. Or should I say lead? Your play on words makes me feel better. Perfect case of communication breakdown. 100%. Oh man ta sucks. Hope you can get some joy out of this with the extra karma you'll get. Now that's a huge today I fucked up. Sorry bro. This is sad to read. I heard of an Englishman wearing an original 1966 England World Cup shirt to France, recent times. The French confiscated and destroyed it as they thought it was counterfeit. Gutting. Dot. Today I fucked up by realizing that I have wasted 5 years of aim training. So for the past 5 years I have been gradually trying to improve my aim on PC using a keyboard and mouse. I mainly try to do this using aim trainers and practicing against other players on Overwatch, Valorant etc. While my aim has improved considerably since 2015 I never really felt I was getting anywhere near the best players. Best, I would describe myself as just above average when it comes to aiming and I often marvel at some of the shots the best players are able to make. While I accept that I'll probably never take part in tournaments or the like, I thought I'd be a bit better at this point considering the several thousand hours that I have put into playing and practicing on a regular basis. Today, I learned about dots per inch or DPI for short. Basically, the general principle is that if you have your mouse set to 100 DPI, your mouse will move 100 pixels per inch you move it across your mouse pad. Looking up various guides, I found out that the optimal DPI for gaming is usually 600 to 800. This is the setting that the best players in the world use as it offers a good balance between accuracy and movement. The guides were very explicit that you should never go over 1000 DPI. For the past 5 years, I have had mine set on 3200 DPI. I am now having to readapt to a setting that feels like I am dragging my mouse through treacle whilst coming to terms with the thousands of hours I have wasted. TL, Doctor, practiced aiming on PC for 5 years while my mouse was set to I'm on fucking ice skates mode. Have now set it to the correct sensitivity and am readjusting. 5 years and thousands of hours of practice wasted. I spent nearly 10 years in college and didn't graduate, now am I'm 30, earn SHT and can't even run a PC I ordered, which was a long time dream of mine needless to remind, I'm 30. What I am saying is you didn't waste anything, just go on with your life and do something you consider worthy of your time. Peace. Okay well that's not strictly true. I have a friend who's about a 3 to 4 KD player in PUBG, Diamond 2 in Valorant, Lemon CSGO when he played, and somewhere in Diamond in and he plays on 2800 CPI. I play on 800 personally, similar ranks with him, with about 45 so XP is 390 tilde. I don't think it matters too much. If you're good at aiming you're good at aiming. Lowering sense helps you aim easier not necessarily better. All also use a sense converter for every game, so every FPS you play is at the same XP. 
Also pay attention to your EDP, or effective DPI. It's your true DPI for that game. Take your in-game sensitivity your mouse DPI. It matters. In fact, I'd argue it matters a lot more. I do use a DPI over 1000, 1500 if memory serves me right, but I also use a lower in-game sensitivity to account for this. 3200 is fine. A high DPI and low in-game sense is better than the opposite, especially if you're on a 1440p or higher monitor. What you need to find is your EDP. As long as you had your sensitivity low in these games you shouldn't have a drastically different setup than most players. I was on the chase to find the right combo, and rather than looking at what pros are doing, do what you feel is comfortable. That sounds like cringe advice. Even saying it is making me wince, but it's true. You developed years of muscle memory adapting to a aim style that uniquely yours, and for whatever arbitrary reason you want to toss that out so you can emulate someone else. Modern mice are precise enough for that difference to be insignificant. I went down that path, and it's a dark road, and there's no light at the end so turn around now and just relax the fuck out. Today I fucked up by killing Emil the worm and making my GF of 2 years cry herself to sleep. Ok so I have no idea how to even start this. Even now the absurdity seems so far removed from what I have known as reality that typing this feels like a David Lynch directed fever dream. Here goes. Few weeks ago I created a character called Emil the worm. Emil, get it? in order to amuse my girlfriend while she was sick drunk. The thing is she is an extremely sensitive, in a very nice way, and sweet girl who has a soft heart. Emil is a little worm I use a high pitch voice for like Bill from SNL years ago and usually wiggle my finger around theatrically to emphasize his worm sized adventures. My girlfriend, 23 years old, has a bow today I fucked up her heart and childlike love and whimsy so she loved hearing Emil's day to day fun like eating raspberry bits, making friends with grasshoppers, and saying I'm just a little worm. I found it fucking hilarious how much she loved this so while going to sleep each night I would make up more and more Emil stories as she cooed and happy cried at his cuteness. Here's where my FU started. Thought of Emil as a comedic character. Like a Looney Tunes or Spongebob type of a character but she saw him as this innocent sweet Disney worm. So on Emil's latest adventure he was making friends with a bird. I was chirping and whistling, squirming my finger around and she kept saying no Emil. Stop, oh please stop I don't like this. Emil don't go to the bird. Realizing how funny it would be from a strictly plot based point, I decided to let out a loud call woo followed by a high pitch Emil shriek and death noises. My girlfriend jumped from under the covers and grabbed my finger shouting Emil and crying big alligator tears streaming down her face. I tried to calm her down but my laughter combined with her tears and Emil's screams just caused chaos. She finally went to sleep but is pissed at me for what I did to Emil, he was just a little warm. TL, doctor, invented a character my girlfriend fell in love with, made it special to her, then turned Emil into Emil by killing him off. Knowing your audience is key my friend. I made an artistic decision with the ultimate fate of Emil. I think it was bold. What? I think your girlfriend might have something she needs to look into. Once the clock hits 10 pm she turns into a level of emotional that rivals finding out geese can be gay. Ha <laughs> ha I think it's really sweet personally. What? It might be time for the adventures of Emil the therapist. 